Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I've got two awesome gaming phones here for you today. So let's find out which one is actually the best. All right, this is time for a battle vid, guys. And today we are checking out two really awesome gaming phones. One was just announced, which is the Asus ROG Phone 7 Pro. It's part of the ROG Phone 7 series. And the other is the Red Magic 8 Pro in titanium. So this is gonna be a duke out of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 powerhouses. Now, if you join us for the very first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification icon to get notified about videos just like this on the channel. I know we've got a lot of new subscribers, so we do videos like this, so go ahead, sit down and enjoy. So let's start off with the hardware. Both of them have very unique hardwares. The specs will be on screen for each device, but we start off with the uh, Asus ROG Phone 7 Pro. Design-wise, it's similar to last year. The curves and the edges are a little bit smoother, kind of like. What you do notice, of course, is that LED display at the back that allows for different graphic prompts. So while you're gaming, it shows you gaming graphics prompts at the back. If you're charging your device, there is a charging prompt. If you receive a phone call, so on and so on, which we'll get into the software later. We've got a camera layout. It's the standard uh, three across. And then we have this lip here that opens up for the Aero Cooler. That is the custom cooler that you get with the Asus ROG Phone 7 Pro, or you can buy it separately uh, if you want to, and this thing does some really impressive work. Now on the right-hand side, you do have, of course, top uh, trigger buttons, the way it says ROG, a power button, volume rocker, and then at the bottom, headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, and then you've got another USB Type-C port where the Aero Cooler actually connects to. Display is solid, it looks vibrant, and we've got a front-facing camera right there. Now, when we go over to the Red Magic 8 Pro, uh, this is the titanium version, so it's got that titanium type look to it. And you can see, it almost feels very see-through. That glass layer on top is really nice in the build. You've got an inline uh, camera setup here, and you've got that uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 logo, depicting where it actually is in the device, which is cool. Then, then you've got your built-in fan. This is one of the biggest differentiators with the Red Magic 8 Pro. Design-wise, it's got a Bintel fan, it's got vents on the side. Now you can see the lettering all around. Those also do light up, indicating, of course, where your triggers are. And those triggers are on the top, on the right-hand side. Right next to your right triggers, you do have this red action button. That is to activate X mode and you to your gaming arena where you can start gaming. Display is vibrant. I really do like this display, 1300 nits, really bright. And as you can see, it's got no front-facing camera because it's under the display, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, volume rock on the other side, and this thing can stand on itself, headphone jack, you name it. So, who has the better hardware, just in terms of look and feel? Honestly, I have to give it to the Red Magic 8 Pro. It just feels fresher and newer in terms of design. Um, and also, I do like the way it looks. Now, speaking of power and performance, we talked about the fact that it, they do have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset on both devices. And whew, talk about impressive. The benchmarks on here, single score, as well as also multiple multi-scores are great, where the Asus wins out on single score by at least 600 uh, points uh, compared to uh, the uh, Red Magic, while the Red Magic wins slightly on multi-core scores there with maybe about 100 or so. So that's where you have it there, but again, that should give us some really good performance all around. That's not, not the point. What we care about is the gaming experience. And we'll start off first, of course, with the very first game we like to play, Call of Duty Mobile. So I'll start with the Red Magic 8 Pro. Performance on this, we're getting a solid 90 frames per second, playing of course on uh, the best setting for this, which was pretty cool. But when we went over to the Asus ROG Phone 7 Pro, we got 122 frames per second. This is the first time I've seen this on an Android device without any hacks or anything like that. But Asus definitely won that round. Then we go up to Apex Legend. I know that game's going off soon, but I like to test it out. 
Apex Legend was able to get a solid 60 frames per second at the highest possible settings, which is I think uh, Ultra with uh, HD, all that fun stuff. Both devices, both the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Pro and the Red Magic 8 uh, Pro uh, got 60 frames per second, solid overall, so which means gameplay was smooth, fast and effective. And we head, up, head over to our next game, PUBG Mobile. Now PUBG Mobile, we start off with Ultra HD Ultra, where we get 40 frames per second on the Red Magic 8 Pro, which is to be expected. Again, still not optimized. And we also get 40 frames per second on the ASUS ROG uh, Phone 7 Pro. Now, when we move over to usually Smooth Extreme, we actually go to HDR Extreme, which is actually higher. And both devices, starting with the Red Magic 8 Pro, do 60 frames per second. A solid 60, no issues, no prompts right there. So both devices have game centers or gaming hubs where all your games are collected and you could customize it. The Red Magic 8 Pro allows you to list all your games there. You can go in. Uh, you can also turn on the fan and have it running at certain times and will automatically turn on with the games you're playing. Plus, you do have the ability to customize the performance per game. You also have the Snapdragon Adreno GPU settings, which is very unique to this device, allowing you to maximize your GPU performance on the device itself. While the ASUS um, ROG Phone 7 Pro also has something similar, you have your game library section for all your games, you do have your console showing your performance and also different performance node modes, you've, you've got your connected, and then you can also customize what you do with your air cooler. This is the Air Cooler 7. Now let's get to Genshin Impact. Now, this is the game we all know takes, of course, the performance to the max for these kind of devices and also temperatures. With the Red Magic 8 Pro, we're able to play for 30 minutes on the device and our temperatures with the fan on were 105 degrees. It got to about 105 roughly around six minutes into gameplay and it stayed there at 105 degrees. That's our standard. So uh, the, the highest is 105, it was between 100 to 105 on there. Now turning the five fan off, we got temperatures of 111 degrees play with the fan on, especially graphically intensive games like Genshin. Now, the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Pro has a new cooling layer built into the device that should reduce those temperatures for you. And we tried different stages with the Aero Cooler. And there is a Smart, there is a Cool, there is a Frosty. Those three do not require an external power source. It will run directly plugged into your device. And with that, the temperatures dropped down from 111 down to 105, roughly 102 to 105, which was really cool. But here's the kicker. When we put it up to frozen, it dropped down all the way to 96 degrees Fahrenheit. It ran cool, absolutely cool. And you could get to that with the Aero Cooler, it is great. So temperatures were fantastic. And we got a solid 60 frames per second. So performance again was great on both, but the cooling of the Aero Cooler 7 is on another level. So I have to say that really does well, but Asus actually can handle its own without a built-in fan into its uh, unit. Now, what about, of course, the cameras? Ah, you're going, what about, you know, game streaming services. Let's, let's take a quick look at what we get from the cameras. The first thing I'll tell you is that ASUS does a really good job with its stabilization, as you can clearly see. The front-facing cameras for both are not that great, especially on the Red Magic 8 Pro. It's just not something to kind of write home about. Uh, but I'd like to see the improvements continue here, especially for the kind of pricing these devices are for. Gameplay and audio is something to go hand in hand and honestly, just take a listen because you will be impressed.
this is where the ASUS ROG Phone 7 Pro really shines. The speakers not only are tuned well, but also carry a lot of bass, and you can see the inflection all the way through compared to the Red Magic 8 Pro, which may sound higher, but very tinny. I love the way the ASUS sound, and I think that is very key when you're playing your games, especially on game streaming services like Xbox Game Pass. I tried it on both of them, and both devices handled really well. No complaints, no issues. I use the on-screen buttons, and uh, hopefully one day we can remap those buttons to these devices. On the other hand, when it comes to emulators, I did try the PSP emulator, play that, no issues. And we know very well Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can handle that, so that's something it can do quite well. So let's talk about what I think about both devices and who actually won this battle. Now we look at the Red Magic 8 Pro, Starts at 699, goes all the way up to 990. That's what I paid for the titanium version here. It's a solid device. It works really well. It's got a vibrant display. It's got that built-in fan, which means it cools and you know where that temperature will stay. And it got, it's got a big battery and it will do other things you need to do. Now, the ROG Phone 7 Pro has a design that is dated and does have a better camera than the Red Magic 8 Pro. Now, in terms of cooling, it's a little behind because of course it doesn't have a built-in fan, but that aero cooler is great, which is an additional accessory you have to take with you. But when I look at it all together though, the ROG Phone 7 Pro wins for me. The speakers sound great, that great audio really ties into me, and of course, just the overall gaming experience with it here really takes it to the very next level. I like it, I like what it brings to the table, and I think a lot of gamers will like that too. So let me know what you think. Which is the better gaming device for you? Is it the ASUS ROG Phone 7, which I stated and I like, and it starts at 999, or is it the Red Magic 8 Pro? Leave your thoughts down below, and always enjoy your entertainment.